Welcome to my office. Today we are going to be cleaning this place and also watering some plants. I have my plants in about three different locations in my house. Um, my sunroom, my downstairs office, and then this office. And this is the one that gets forgotten all the time. And it has a lot of my more like needy plants. And so everything's looking a little sad. So we're gonna go through and water things. But first I need to go grab some supplies and a snack. Yeah, supplies and a snack. <laughs> and then I'll be back. I think it'd be fine to do a little before and after because to me, it's a mess. And so we're gonna get that clip real quick. So here it is, here it is before. I have a mess on my desk. My greenhouse cabinet is a nightmare. And then I just have a bunch of junk everywhere and I don't even, I'm not even gonna do the closet. I will show you. It is a mess. I have soil, I have pots, I have just anything else I can think of. I have a treadmill. <laughs> it's just crazy. But anyway, we're not gonna mess with the closet today. That is a whole nother beast for another time. So now let's get back to actually watering the plants and taking care of all this. I was gonna eat my snack real quick, but it was all, literally all melted together. But it's 2.30 and I have a snack at 2.30. That's just what I do. And it's always a sweet snack. <laughs> I'd say a treat instead of a snack. But look at this, they're just a melted mess. Well, they still taste good, but it's just kind of fitting for this video, I guess. I should come around and try and think about what order I wanna go in. Like, you should probably declutter before you clean, right? And that's what I'll do. We'll declutter, then we'll clean. So first things first, I have some plants in here that I want to either sell or give away, just some cuttings, like extra things I have because I know that I'm gonna to wanna to put some plants back in here when fall comes, or like when, I guess, when I have to bring my porch plants in from outside. So I wanna make some room, and I just have some duplicates of things that I can absolutely sell um, or give away. So that's what I'm gonna kind of sort through first, and then we'll go from there. And I need to clean this so bad, it's really bad. There we go. So much brighter and cleaner. And then here is my to either sell or giveaway pile. So I need to get on to listing those and stuff. I usually sell on Facebook Marketplace, so I have good luck there. One mess down, a few more to go. plants in this corner that are totally neglected these are going to be given away although the pot is very cute so I might keep the pot it's in a growers pot but the plant can definitely be given away this is a philodendron saloon I think I'm not sure but anyway this one is going in the to-go pile this one is a bromeliad which I I can't believe it's staying alive. I like don't water it. I hardly do anything for it. It looks pretty sad, but it's like growing a baby and everything. So this is a giveaway. And then this is an aglaonema. I also just really dislike this one. So I'm going to be giving this one away too. This is one of my favorite areas because it is where I just threw this philodendron silver sword down in here and it's doing great. Um, this is a grow light I use more in the winter. So it just needs to stay here. And then I have this Hoya under a grow light. It's doing well. And then this is my Ficus Altissima, which lives under this grow light all year long. And it obviously is doing well too. I need to clip this off. I like to keep it more in like a rounded shape. So this area is all good. We're gonna leave it. 
All right, cleaning supplies are put away. Now we're gonna show the plants some love. I'm going to be fertilizing, adding my BTI drops for fungus snap prevention, and then I'm also going to be cleaning them off, like cleaning the leaves with a new leaf spray that I'm coming up with, coming out with. I don't know, I'm really excited about it. This is called Shine On, and I can't wait to release it. It's not released yet, but I will be selling it on my website soon. Um, it smells like do you guys know what orange Tootsie Pops smell like? Because that's exactly what this smells like. It smells so good. And it just helps remove dust, debris, hard water spots on your plants. It also has a little bit of neem oil in it so it will kill any pests that it comes in contact with. So it's a great thing to have on hand for when you need to clean the leaves of your plants. So we're going to water everyone and then we're going to clean everybody's leaves. Well, maybe not everybody, but most. <laughs> um, I don't think I have time to do everybody's leaves but I'm gonna do a couple of the bigger ones, like maybe my Altissima, um, my Monstera's in the corner, those types, and then they will be nice and happy and shiny. When it comes to watering, there are two products that I always add to my water. Just basic one gallon milk jug works great for watering, especially when you have a lot of plants that you're trying to water. Um, I use my Foliage Pro fertilizer, which I buy the gallon size of that, and then I put it into this little like fuel bottle so that you just take this off and you just like squeeze a little bit to get the amount that you need and then you dump it into your gallon of water. And then these are the BTI drops. This is a bacteria that creates a toxin that is toxic to um, fungus gnat larva, black fly larva, and mosquito larva. So you can also use this in like bird baths, ponds. Um, it's really common to be used in like uh, livestock tanks and stuff to keep the mosquitoes away. So this stuff works great. It's safe for plants, mammals, fish, everything. So this is what I use and it cuts down the fungus gnats within a week. Literally all you need of this is one drop per gallon of water. If you do more than one drop, it's okay, but you're just wasting product. So one drop is all you need. All right, when it comes to watering the big ones, I just start pouring it on. I'm gonna pour a lot on my um, olive tree, my Altissima, and then I will start filling up my little um, containers that I use for watering my moss poles, which look like this. They're just old um, smoothie bottles. I use a soldering iron to put the holes in the top and I fill this with the water and then stick on top of my moss pole and it just waters it perfectly. lot of the plants in my greenhouse cabinet I will use my one gallon pump sprayer which I love this one actually has a telescoping um, or at least I think it does telescoping handle maybe not maybe this isn't the one but one of them I have actually extends so you can get things that are up higher um, I don't really need that in for in here so that doesn't really matter but I love this thing again I just put my full H pro in here and then one drop of my BTI drops and then I just go to town watering everything. And I usually will try to saturate the soil until a little bit starts to run out the drain holes. Every so often, like every few months, I'll actually take them to the sink, flush them through, make sure that any excess salts or minerals or whatever are being flushed out of the soil. But today I'm just doing normal watering like I would do every other time I need to water. Now I'm going to take you on a little quick tour of the plants that are actually on my desk. So we have, this one is a really sad one. It'll perk up after it gets water, after it takes in the water. But this is a philodendron mammy. This is a philodendron summer glory. Nice and big leaves. These are so cool. They're like a burnt orange color. And then this is a monstera Thai constellation. Right here. Here, this beautiful newest leaf right here is so pretty. Um, and then we have 
back here, a Monstera elbow, and then another Monstera elbow in the corner right here with one of my favorite clip-on grow lights. They're so helpful. Um, this is the Sansi clip-on grow light. And then um, this is the Monstera. And then here we have a Philodendron Jose Buono. So those are the plants that are actually on my desk um, that I have right by me at all times. Now this is one of my favorite parts, cleaning the leaves. I have two sets of gloves here because I like to use a different glove for each plant so I'm not transferring any pests that might be there. I just use one glove from the set per plant so I can clean four plants in one go. I actually have a couple more of these downstairs but I'm not gonna go get them. Removing dust and debris helps with your plant's photosynthesis, so it's really important to get that dust off of there. If you don't wanna to go to this extent, you can always just run them under a shower or you can hose them off or whatever, but just get that dust off. And there we go. House plant chores done. <laughs> Thank you guys for coming along. Make sure you subscribe if you found this helpful in any way. Make sure you go over and follow me on Instagram, TikTok, everywhere, at House Plus Plant. Um, I do a daily Q&A in stories on Instagram. So if you ever have questions, you can leave them here in the comments or you can go find me on Instagram and ask in the question box. I hope you guys have a good rest of the day and I'll see you next time.